Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here, we're going to cover question 17 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. Before we get going, I would appreciate if you could subscribe to the channel by clicking the button below. That way you can support the channel while also receiving notifications for every future video so you don't miss one. Now without further ado, let's tackle question 17. Which fraction is an equivalent representation of 8%? So in other words, we're asked to convert a fraction to a percentage and we could do it directly or we could use estimation. If you have a hard time, I would recommend that you use uh, this link. It's a Khan Academy video and we've done quite a few questions that deal with this. I won't go too in depth, but you'll, you'll get the idea behind it. So to convert a fraction to a percentage, there's two ways, right? Like you can either just divide the divide the fraction or divide the numerator by the denominator. So I'll write numerator by the numerator. Or you could um, um, like change it to over a hundred. So I'll write equivalent equivalent fraction something something over 100 so you could do one of two ways so let's do it here let's say we start with a that would be 2 over 25 well here it's actually pretty easy to convert it to 100 you just do times 4 right so then if you do it on the, the bottom you need to do it on top and then that would be eight over 100. And then that's a percentage. So that's per cent means 100. So here you do have 0 0.08 or 8%. So right there, we're done. That's the right answer. But let's just do the other ones for practice and to confirm that we didn't make a mistake. So let's do B. C and D. So we have 2 over 100, uh, 20. So then here it would be times 5 times 5. And notice that I'm allowed to multiply 5 over 5 because that's multiplied by 1. So then when I do this, it becomes 10 over 100. That's 0 0.1 or 10%, 10 per 100. So obviously it is not this one. And I'll just put my X's right away because we can expect that it's not these guys. So we have 1 over 8. And here, note that it's not obvious what we need to, um, like what's the percentage, right? So what what's the conversion factor? Uh, so I'll write it in green. So I'll just write question mark, question mark. So that would be x over 100. And to find your x, well, you could do 100 divided by 8, essentially, to find your percentage. Or in other words, what you can do is just use the first method, which is dividing 1 by 8. And if I'm not mistaken, it should be 0 0.125, because it's, a, it's half of a quarter, and a quarter is 0.25. So it's half of 25, so that's 12.5. So it's 12.5%. So 12.5%, and that's not the answer. And here again, it's easy to convert it, so maybe I'll just do that. It's times 10 times 10, so that's 100, and that's 0 0.8, or 80 per 100, or 80%. And just intuitively, you could look at these fractions and try to put them in order as well and like see see what it does. But to build intuition here, you could just try to think, uh, let's do, let's do that again. So A, B, C, and D. And let's say you have some equal chocolate bars for all of them. Usually I draw those in advance. Sorry about that. And we have 2 over 25. 
just approximately. Let's say you split this up into 25, you know it's gonna be pretty small. So something like this, maybe a little bit less even. So something like this, all right? And then two over 20, that would be you split it up into two and it would be one tenth. It would be just a little bit more, a little bit more because it's the same numerator, but it's divided by less. So it's going to end up being more. You can think if a pizza is divided by 20 in, into 25 slices, the slices are going to be smaller. You're going to end up eating less pizza if you eat two slices than if that same pizza was divided into 20 instead. And then one eight, we can actually uh, do that. So that's divided by two, that's divided by four. And one eight would be something like this. So one eight is somewhere here. And then eight over 10, that's 80%. So you have like, if you divide it in 10, it's something like this. So just with the eye test, you know it's definitely not this one. And then for the other ones, you actually need to do it because they're all in the same ballpark, right? So the, these ones are all in the same ballpark. So that's it for this question. I hope this helps and I hope that fractions and percentage are starting to make a little bit more sense. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do The Work.